Right, but right now, we've got the reigning ACC Player of the Year, Liz Kitley, and her superstar teammate, Georgia Amore, on set with us right now. And who is taller right now? Did we figure it out? Yeah. Uh, they gave her a boost. That's not fair. <laughs> I'm still the tallest person. No, I, I am taller. Uh, also, what we didn't see yes, behind the right. scenes is that Georgia came up clutch right at the buzzer, sat down, and got here in time, just She's like she high always high. just like she always does. That's Georgia, right. is, is that how it's clicking so far this offseason? Yes. What's it been like? It's great. Efficient. Efficiency is a big key for us, uh, especially in the offseason. So, yeah, I guess it's playing into everyday action. Liz, what have you seen? Oh, yeah. She, she's great. She's always clutch. If you need a last minute something, go to Georgia. I like it that she went just straight to her. Like, Liz is already talking about her teammate. Well, yeah. that's what we love. Yeah about Liz, you know, the reigning ACC player of the year. She doesn't even like us to say that. She's like, oh, don't talk about it. But <laughs> we talked with your coach, Kenny Brooks, and he said you've been working on a few things. Perhaps, you know, shooting the three ball, perhaps a sky hook is the word I heard. So what has this off season been like for you? What have you been bringing to your game specifically? Yeah, I think I got, you know, really comfortable with my go-to moves this past year. Um, but now that I kind of have those, like I feel like, you know, the fadeaway is really comfortable for me. Um, taking it to the next level will be incorporating, you know, more moves. So I'm even like harder to guard and not, you know, you can't expect, I guess, what's going to happen. So I can't believe he gave you that secret. You yeah, guys are okay. lucky. Oh, man. <laughs> Look, right. he said it on TV, so I was like, I think I could use it again. <laughs> All right, Kitley. So then we're going to, let's break it down a little bit here. All right. Now, how are we handling the double teams? Yeah, well, I hooked Debbie. We've, we've done <laughs> is, can you get it off quick enough to before the double? I believe so. Yeah, I can do it off the pass. Oh, see, we're okay. telling everything. Okay. All right, we're telling everything now. <laughs> Georgia, right. would you like to tell us some what secrets? Else? <laughs> what oh. have you been working on? That's a secret. Okay, there you go. That's, That's smart. That's a good answer. No, what else, Kelly? Come on, double teams. You're handling that, right? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, with the re recruiting that we've had, bringing in those extra people, it's yeah. going to be, you know, even more difficult, I think, to kind of take all that attention. But if that happens, then. You know, Taylor Soul's there to clean up everything. Yeah. So. Okay, so let's ask let's talk about Taylor Soul for a second, let's. okay? Stretch four. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she's a stretch four, but when she's on the floor, how does she help you? Oh my god, because she is just all over the place everywhere. She has so much energy. Um, I mean her rebounding abilities are awesome and that's you know super handy and comforting to know that you know maybe if I miss every now and then then she'll be there and I know she has my back she had a tip the other day in practice no, she had a lob a she fought yeah. a lob and her knees were above the defender's head yeah. <laughs> it was so incredible. that's what she brings yeah <laughs> yeah that'll get it done yeah. Yeah. Georgia what has it been like for you to be the point guard of this team to be one of the leaders of this team and to have new faces Ashley Wusu mm -hmm. Taylor Soul and others how have you been able to balance that and trying to get everybody involved? Yeah, I mean, it's exciting because I do have the ball in my hands a lot and I do create. On the opposite side, Ashley creates. She's incredible in transition and I will be happy spotting up on three because I love to shoot at two. <laughs> but I think we have a good balance and it's very complimentary, so. And Georgia, I know everybody was excited, but when I got to talk to you before, you in particular, excited about the possibility of just getting these transfers in and especially Ashley tell us a little bit about that yeah so I I had a workout and Ashley was watching and I was shaking I was trying <laughs> to do my moves I was sweating palm sweaty shaking um, <laughs> but that just goes to show how much she she's important to us really and you know Respect. she is a, yeah she is an all-american at yeah. the end of the day and she brings that name and that diversity so I feel like there's a kind of a greater sense of urgency bringing in Taylor and Ashley. And yeah. you guys accomplished so much last year. You did lose in the first round in, in a tough game to Florida Gulf Coast. What did you learn from that? And what are your expectations for this year, for both of you? Yeah, um, I think we, you know, our weaknesses were exploited a little bit in that game. Um, I think I needed to work on, you know, perimeter defense, things like that, um, just to be able to be more versatile and be successful against different kinds of teams. I think Florida Gulf Coast was a very, you know, different kind of niche team. Yeah. And so, but we learned a lot from that. And so I'm grateful for the experience and, you know, going forward, um, adding what we've added. And I think on defense in general, we're just so much better and we have so much like potential as a defensive whole. That was a 42 point game in the tournament, wasn't mm -hmm. it? So, yeah. I mean, like, a, we know you average almost a double double. Um, there are some games last year where you took single digit field goal attempts. Like, are yeah. you going to? be more demanding? I mean, because you're not a demanding personality, but I'm just wondering, like, are you going to say, Georgia, hey, <laughs> like, throw it in here. Yeah, she needs to work on her play calls, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's on, it's on Georgia. <laughs> All on me. No, I'm kidding. I think, I think, especially now with the addition of T-Soul and Ashley Wursu, like, 
are you really going to double Liz off of them? Yeah. Like, are you really going to leave them? Because if so, they're open. If you don't leave them, it's her world. So. I'm not your... leaving a Wusu, No way. Exactly. No, but I might know. leave. I might leave Taylor Soul. She, she, she's working on it. Yeah. She'll catch my lob. Okay. Y'all need to show <laughs> Taylor this this, uh, yeah. this film here. Yeah. Uh, but that she's a great athlete. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. Yeah. She's not shooting it. I'm I'm very I'm high. Help and offer. Debbie and I have a little debate going on. Um, <laughs> aside from that, expectations. When you guys look at this season, you look at your roster. What what do you expect? Do you have goals right now? Like what? Where are you looking at it from that perspective, Georgia? Um. Our goal, ACC champions, okay. um, and then make a deep, deep, deep run. And I think we have the personnel to do that. Um, it's just up to us to fulfill that and exceed it and work hard every day because we have the name on paper um, and our chemistry is there, but we just have to work hard every single day. Yes. Nothing, I'm glad you given. said that yeah. because some teams who haven't won it before would shy away from saying, no, that's what we expect to do. Mm -hmm. we, we want to win the league. Seeing the two of you guys together, not just on the court, but in real life is really fun. Like the relationship that you guys have, the dynamic that it is. Georgia, describe to us a little bit what Liz means to you and why this relationship Look at is so special. <laughs> she's like, I'm nervous. This could go a lot of different ways. Oh, yeah, let's see. She, she's the brains. Um, definitely because I'm impulsive and she'll always judge it out with me um, but just like a calming presence and I know I can tell her things and come to her and she's going to be there for me at the end of the day no matter what um, even if I get mad at her or anything she's still going to be there some people I can get mad at and I'm like okay I'm not speaking to you for four days but Georgia is she your favorite Kitley no Raven is <laughs> mine too mine too just check it that's fine Get it's, it's that a valid, valid yeah. answer yeah Liz Shout how about for you Raven. in Georgia I mean, I think at this point we've lived together for like three years. Yeah. So it's it's a lot more than a friendship. I mean, we've we've just gotten so close, and it's cool to see how much she's grown too. I mean, when we met, we were we were babies. You know, we, I was like, I think at 18. Yeah. And you know, just nowhere near the people we are now. So just to you know have that person to grow alongside with is super cool. When Kenny was up here, he was talking about how you know you guys have been underdogs for the most part. You know, now you yeah. have expectations. I mean, you are going to be pick to be one of the top teams in the country when you're dealing with that on a day-to-day -day basis how much does it manifest itself in the detail of the day mm -hmm. and how are you going to handle you know the schedule that you're playing I mean there is a sense of urgency like right now yeah I mean I think yeah we're, we're all aware of that and that's why in practice uh, we we know that we can't afford to have you know certain slip-ups like if we go on a you know, one drill maybe isn't as clean that we know. Coach Brooks will say, like, if you do that in a game, we're going to lose the game. We have such good uh, competition on our schedule, and we know that we have to bring it every single night. And, you know, even in the ACC, uh, it's just such a great league. Uh, every team you have to show up for. You can't take a night off at all. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. When, for you guys with Virginia Tech, and we talked to Kenny about this a little bit, with y'all and the men's program and, and how good both are right now, mm -hmm. I remember calling the NC State game the final game of the year and just thinking, this place is packed. And that's not how it used to be at times um, in Castle Coliseum in the past. So what has it meant for you guys to have Hokie Nation really embrace your program? Yeah, I mean, one game specifically, the Georgia Tech game, um, we brought in, what were they, number? They were high, yeah. but... We have Enter Sandman, and that, that song cuts out, and they kept singing it a cappella, like the whole song. And it was incredible because I only ever hear that football game, men's yeah. basketball game. So to see that support was incredible because it not only means that they're there to support us, but we're doing great things, and they want to see it. That's awesome. And what has Kenny's temperament been with you guys in practice? Is it different now? I mean, is everything gone up another level? I, th I think, you know, he doesn't have as... Maybe his temper is a little bit shorter. He doesn't accept as many errors, but I think also the good things that we do in practice also take his breath away sometimes. <laughs> and then he'll, he'll lighten up a little bit, yeah. So, sometimes people in practice do something and we're like, oh, like, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Ashley. Um, <laughs> Ashley. Ashley. Ashley, someone else like that I know that you guys really like and that I don't think is talked about enough is Kayla oh, and the yeah. glue that she is to this team and all the work that she puts in behind the scenes. What have you seen from her this offseason, Jordan? Yeah, she's just our calm, consistent presence. Um, she's going to shoot it in and she's going to play the best defense you'll ever see against the opposition's leading scorer. So I love Kayla and she needs to be talked about more. But in saying that, she's also exactly like this one. And if she's talked about more, she will brush that off too. So. Yeah. She, she brings so much more than just, you know, I think people look at her and think, oh, she's a shooter. 
she just brings so much more than that. I mean, she has the experience, obviously the defense. She always guards the best person on the floor. She, she's so valuable, and we're very grateful that she's on our team. Yeah, a, a Clay Thompson vibe almost is what I yeah. get from her. The three and D. I mean, yeah. that's what she's gonna do. Um, Georgia, you're Australian. I think that's obvious the way we're talking. <laughs> what do you miss about Australia? What What is the biggest difference? Um, honestly, like culture and food. I, I came here, I gained 20 pounds. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> I had to gain and lose it in that season. Um, but even like the culture, like I'll say some things and I'm like, let me take that back. Like I shouldn't have said it like that. Like it's just, we joke a lot at home and it can be harsh, but I even went home and my family was joking with me and I was like, I'm being attacked right now. <laughs> But, yeah, just understanding surroundings. Uh, is there anything on the schedule that you're looking forward to that you have circled or a particular moment that you both are looking for, some sort of revenge or? Besides the Bahamas, I mean, that's not <laughs> yeah, 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 that'll one. be fun. But I mean, going to Tennessee, yeah. I mean, what? that's quite an environment. What more yeah. could you ask for? So that, that'll be fun. Yeah. Definitely Tennessee. And we, we lost to them last year. We definitely shouldn't have, but what a great revenge game away to have an experience. December 4th, that's a big one. I, I know we're all looking ahead to what you guys have, but I want to quickly look back to someone that I know means a lot to this program, and, and that's Shep. And getting to see what she did this year, yeah. how cool was that for you guys to have a, a seat and watching her yeah. be a part of that team and winning a championship? I actually just got chills right now thinking about it. <laughs> because, I mean, obviously we're so proud of her. She was, you know, such a great Hokie, and she was here for five years. Um, I mean, I can't think of a record she didn't break. Uh, yeah. So awesome, it was, it was so cool. And she also, she got to come back to campus uh, like a few weeks ago and just share her wisdom with us. And obviously she's learned so much at the next level, playing in a different role, but being around such greatness and then getting, you know, to get a little piece of that from her is just so awesome. Yeah. I mean, she's the epitome of trusting the process with Coach Brooks and that's, that's what he's about is you trust him and you'll work and you'll get better. Um, but she came back and she was telling us like, in the Aces gym, like, they get told to leave. Like, th their work ethic is unmatched. Obviously, they're M uh, WNBA champions, but that's just little pieces of advice that you have to remember. Like, yeah. people are out there working every single minute every day. It's awesome. awesome. Great to have that experience, and I know she means a lot to this program. You guys can keep You also have your hokey colors on. Well, yes. I was Debbie's just pleasing the masses <laughs> with this color that she wore until somebody else sits down. Right now, she looks good with well, her Florida State was right, you know, yeah. change yeah. at halftime. I could change at halftime. Hey, guys, thanks for the time. Really looking forward to seeing what y'all do for this season. Really high expectations and know that it's going to be a ton of fun to watch you both. Thank, Thank you. you. On the other side of this,